The 1993 Martin Warrior baseball team accomplished something that year that had never been done in Arlington sports history at the high school level. That is, win a state championship. They had come close in 1990 making it to state, but the 93 team erased all doubt as to who would reign supreme. At season's end, the squad of head coach Terry King ended up with a record of 34-5 and, and were ranked number one in the state of Texas and finished in the top five nationally in the final high school poll. Martin finished second in District 9-5A with a record of 11-3 and, and then proceeded to dust off their playoff opponents one by one. Dallas Carter was the first team to go down in two games, setting up a one-game winner-take-all with Duncanville. That obviously was very special, you know, the, the, the build-up to it and, uh, uh, you know, them, them being number one in the nation, number one in the state, undefeated, you know, us feeling good about ourselves, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, we were, we were excited to go against them to see where we, where we stood and where we stacked up against them. And uh, it was a very, very exciting game. I remember going out uh, around lunchtime to the field just to make sure everything was set up and people were out there already putting their chairs down and getting ready for the game. And uh, it, was, it was quite an exciting atmosphere. And, and one you look back on and you say, man, that was special. I'm just glad, you know, I was part of it. And, and uh, uh, you know, the kids played great that night and Coach Valamides called a great game. And, uh, you know, Matt started it and uh, uh, Guillermo came in and finished it. And it was, uh, it was a special, special night for us. Standing in the way for a championship game with Abilene Cooper was Corpus Christi Carroll. Martin played a solid game all around and came out an 8-3 winner. In the championship game against Abilene Cooper, if Martin could grab an early lead and rely on the pitching of Guillermo Foster, their chances were good. Well, both things happened. Uh, being responsible for the pitchers, it's nice to get that lead. And uh, uh, Guillermo came in and uh, just did a great job. He was determined that it was going to be his game. and. Uh, uh, it uh, keeps the focus, but it kind of also has a great feeling uh, for everyone to uh, build uh, during that game when you come up with that big lead. Here's a starting nine tonight for Terry King, leading off left fielder Dan Sims. Batting second, third baseman David Johnson. Hitting third, shortstop Johnny Hunter. Batting cleanup center fielder Ben Greve. In right field, Travis Miller. Justin Batson doing the catching and batting sixth. Matt Blank will bat seventh to play first base. Jake Blank DHing for Guillermo Foster hitting eighth. And batting ninth, second baseman Scott Sawyer. Martin with a slugging percentage of 523, 14 team home runs, and an on base percentage of 53%. Martinez leans in for the sign from Graham. And the pitch to Grieve is swung on and hit to the right side. Daniels fumbles and throws it uh, away from Boyer, covering the bag at second. And Grieve on an 0-2 pitch, able to reach first. It'll be an error on Brad Daniels, the second baseman. So Martin now with one homer, eight RBIs. Swings on the first pitch, and this one is blooped to center. It'll fall, and Johnny Hunter will score the game's first run. Foster's 1-2 pitch is lifted to the right side. Sawyer drifting back and will put it away in shallow right field for out number three. A leadoff walk does nothing for Abilene Cooper in the bottom of the second. No runs on no hits, no Martin errors, and one left. We're through two. Martin still leads Cooper 1-0. And this one is pulled down the line. Johnson will have his second double. Neal to the relay man, Boyer, and a leadoff double for David Johnson, double number six. This one to right field, and it drops in front of Roberts. Johnson waved home. It's 2 nothing. RBI number 24. Grieve off of Martinez and into left field. Rounding second is Hunter. He'll go to third as Martinez limps over near third base. This one by Graham. It'll be 3 nothing as Johnny Hunter touches home. He's running. 
They'll throw down, and the tag gets away. Greve will score from third, and the Cougars unraveling here in the top of the third. Runners take their leads. Foster from the stretch, and the breaking pitch caught Boyer looking, and a wasted at bat for the Cooper shortstop. Abilene Cooper in the bottom of the fourth. No runs on one hit, one mark error, and they leave them loaded, and that may be the last chance they get against Foster. We're through four. And lays off the first pitch, and the throw to first will get the runner. Justin Batson picks off Jimmy Frush. And again, Cooper unable to do anything with two outs. Now with eight hits, the first of the inning, and here's Greed. Bases full of Warriors on top, 4 nothing. Hit to the right side and through. Lofman will score. Johnson waved around. The tag is late. It is 6 nothing. Martin. And for Grieve, RBI is number 30 and 31. Open stance. Here's a 1-2 pitch. Swung on and hit up the middle. It's Hunter, and he'll step on second base for out number three. And by Frush into left field. Base hit number 10. Well, that equals the total they got last night. Being a 30. leadoff single for Justin Batson. And Brandon Hand is going to run for Batson at first base. Number 11. And Tony Marion in the on-deck circle. Martin a run in the first. Three in the third, and two more in the sixth. This one through the left side by Boyer and Frush. And back-to-back -back singles to open up the top of the seventh. That's what Foster wants. 2-2 two -two pitch. Over the mound and into center field. Hand rounds third. It is seven nothing. And RBI on a 2-2 count for Tony Marion. Everyone contributes this year. Marion with RBI number 11. Ahead on the count, 3-1, takes ball four in an RBI. For David Johnson as Brandon Heisler comes home, it is 8-0. Back at Dish Falk Field as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Our telecable crew the last two days T. Eric way out in center field, some 405 feet away. Lewis manning the camera at first base. Lewis Tovar, Sam Ramirez on top of the dugout at third. Greg Schmidt behind the plate. Jeff Kuster and Leo Parrish in the truck. The wind up and the Foster 2-2 pitch. And Jones is gone. Foster whips home. This one is fair, fielded by Johnson. And Krug has it for out number two. Nothing and two to Kendrick. Michael Kendrick. Justin Batson hangs down the sign. The windup and Foster's 0-2 pitch. There's a new baseball champion in the city of Arlington. They wear black and red. They are the Martin Warriors. First ever baseball championship for an Arlington team. In the bottom of the seventh for Abilene Cooper, no runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. Guillermo Foster strikes out six. Ends his Martin Senior season with a record of 12 and 1. Abilene Cooper calls it a year. Head coach Terry King of the state champion Martin Warriors. This team can never say ever again that they were close, but no cigar. Final score, Martin 8, Abilene Cooper nothing. What is it about baseball that makes it the great game that it is? 
it's being part of something bigger than yourself. You know, it's being part of a team. You know, it's just a great game. It teaches you humility, number one, because it's a game of failure. It teaches you to be humble and teaches you to count on your teammates. That's the great thing about baseball because, you know, you're, you're going to fail and you're going to, you know, not do the job and somebody else is going to have to come in and help out. And, and then there's time when you do the job and it's, it's, it's a great thing. To, it's a great feeling. 